So when should you clean the lines of your kegerator? We often get this question from customers whenever they come in to buy a kegerator. Their first question is usually, where do I get kegs? Their next question is usually, how often do I have to clean? So cleaning is kind of up to you, um, but it should be done regularly. So especially if you're going to be going from a like very dark, heavy beverage to a very light, delicate beverage, good time to clean the line, just to make sure you're not leaving a ghost in the line for that delicate beverage. It also is a good idea to clean if ever you're enjoying the look of your beverage and you see floaties in it. That could mean it's time for a line change. And of course, if you're tasting your beverages and they start to taste a little less fresh, maybe you're putting kegs on and those beverages are getting turned over regularly, but it's been a long time since you've cleaned or you might have never cleaned, it's probably time to get a keg washout kit from Keg King. So what you get is a 10 liter keg that is an A-type or a D-type spear that's gonna come with it. So you get both spears and you get a small pouch of our Atomic 15 ABC cleaning powder. So the powder you're gonna mix up with some water inside the keg. It's gonna be mixed warm, not hot, but warm, so that we can then hook up our coupler, clean through the coupler and through the tap. Now, if you have ball lock kegs, I'll also show you our 10 liter uh, ball lock keg cleaning washout kit. And of course, we also have an easy way to clean ball lock kegs with just a carbonation and line cleaning cap. So I'll show you all of this today, but let's start by looking at what kind of a mess we've got here in our keg. We've gone ahead and we were serving a stout and it looks like it's all left in the lines. So for whatever next beverage we are gonna put on, we wanna get that stout out of there. Definitely if the beer has been left in the lines for a while, it's time to give that line a clean. So the first thing you wanna do is weigh out five, if you're gonna be mixing up five liters of cleaning solution, you're gonna to wanna to do five grams per liter or uh, five teaspoons because it's one teaspoon is five grams. So if you want to, you can weigh it out and make you feel like Walter White or something over here. Freaking Pablo Escobar. So that's 25 grams we're looking for. And that's about it right there. It's actually a little bit over. We're being generous. But if you're one or two grams over, you should be fine. Um, we're gonna mix that cleaning solution in the keg. So you open up the keg by unscrewing it like that. We're gonna tip in the water now. And I'll probably just do this on the ground here. So heat, turbulence, and caustics, that's how we clean in breweries. So mix in your cleaning powder. Grab the right spear type for the kind of coupler that you're gonna be using. Slide your coupler, even with the dirty line on it, into place on the keg. And you've still got the gas hooked up to your system here. And it's running at say like 10 PSI, which is all we really need for short draw kegerator systems like this. So we'll go ahead and engage the coupler. That's pressurizing the keg, as you can hear. We'll go ahead and run a few liters of that solution through the tap. Just like that. And you see, it's gonna spit out that dirty beer line stuff first. And it'll start to run clear. And we'll just go ahead and let that run through. You can spend more time shaking up the solution uh, so that the powder mixes in well with the water before you start doing this. Uh, after you get a couple of liters through it, and right now we're almost to about two liters, we'll go ahead and stop it. And we'll just allow the line to soak. Now, if when you are done cleaning out your lines, you wanna actually do a very thorough job, you can always, after you've unhooked everything so that nothing's under pressure behind the tap, you can remove your taps from your shanks, break down the tap in a, a bowl of warm cleaning solution. Probably not the one that you just cleaned the beer out with, but with some fresh cleaning solution and then rinse it back off with clean water, put it together, put it back onto the shank. So that's how you'd clean the tap and the line system. So after I've gotten rid of the first runnings of what was inside the line, I'm now just running the rest of the contents of our keg through the tap 
it's rested in there for about 15 minutes. So it's actually really, it's running quite clear and clean now. So I'm very confident that this line is clean. The next step after I run out all of this solution of the cleaning solution, which is just wound up running out right about there, is I'm gonna fill the keg with a bit of just warm water now. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uncouple the keg, take the coupler off the keg. And what you're gonna have to do is depressurize the keg right here with this pressure relief valve so we can open the keg back up. To open the keg, tip in about two and a half liters of nice clean water. Get your spear, pop it back on top again, put your coupler back onto the keg and engage it. There you go. And now let's just run some of that clean water through the, the tap system. That's gonna help us now to clean out any of the residue of the cleaner. So when you get towards the end of the rinsing run, you can run some gas into your line and into the tap system just like this to make sure everything's out of the line. When you close this tap, it now has just the gas in it from after rinsing out the line, which is a great way to leave your lines until you use them again. We also offer for commercial venues and for people who want the convenience of stainless steel and the longevity of stainless steel, a 15 liter washout keg that comes with an A spear and a D spear. So you can, again, clean through your couplers and you can mix hot in this if you'd like to. Um, so these are quite popular, but of course, a bit more expensive, a little higher price point than the 10 liter washout kegs that we're also doing now. So that was how to clean with the commercial couplers, um, A type or D type with the King Keg washout keg kits, right? But what if you have um, disconnects on Bullock kegs. You got some Cornelius kegs or Bullock variety uh, PET kegs. You're gonna need to clean, again, this line out. And to do that, we've got a couple other ways to do it. Now you can get a 10 liter King Keg Bullock variety washout kit, which is super simple to use. You're gonna mix into it just like we did with the commercial ones, and then hook up your gas and your liquid so that you can open up the tap and run the cleaning solution through this disconnect and this line. But also, just so you know, if you're just gonna be cleaning a little bit in between kegs, it's a good idea to mix up a, some solution of the ABC powder, and also you can use something as easy as this. This is the carbonation and line cleaning cap that we also offer, and it fits on just about any PET bottle. So this is a leftover bottle of soda water or something that we had had earlier. And what we can do with this now is we can actually pressurize this, put some of that cleaning solution that's warm in here, which we've already done. And then all we have to do, because we have also on the other side of this carbonation cap, put a little piece of tubing so that it can pick up the liquid and send it out of the bottle. We'll go ahead and pressurize the bottle, which you can see happening right there. And then once it's pressurized, a bit of headspace in it like that. Let me make sure it's nice and tight. Once it's pressurized, we take this one off. Go ahead, hook up your liquid disconnect now, because the carbonation and line cleaning cap fits both gas and liquid disconnects. And then the last thing you're gonna do is go ahead and run that cleaning solution into your jug or your catchment. So that's it. Now we've got nice, bright, clean lines again. We're gonna leave that cleaner to sit in here. Again, to finish this off, all you're gonna have to do is fill the bottle or your uh, king keg with some cleaning rinsing water. So clean rinse water. And then afterwards, you can start hooking up your other kegs and start serving and the beer or the beverage will taste awesome and fresh. So this is the way to clean your kegerator lines. So that'll keep you pouring delicious, bright tasting beverages every single pour. Thanks for watching.